him. I hit him and nothing happened. Oh my gosh. What's going on guys? Biznix here. Today we're going to be talking about the Ion Neutralizer. So let's just get into it. The Ion Neutralizer, possibly the most challenging star card to use in Star Wars Battlefront to date. More challenging than the Cycle Rifle star card when this game was released. For two hours I spent launching seamlessly harmless projectiles at infantry, droids, stationary weapons, ATSTs, walkers, rebel fighters, and imperial TIE fighters. Everything I did seemed to get me absolutely nowhere. This card is essentially useless in the game in its current state. This being said, I'm proposing a solution to this problem with a well needed So let's first talk about what the Ion Neutralizer actually is. Now, the Ion Neutralizer is a Bespin DLC star card that can be obtained by completing a hot contract. All you have to do is to destroy 25 vehicles and to get 3 Ion Torpedo kills. Now this star card is ion based, which means it's lethal against any electronical, non-human targets. This encompasses spaceships like uh, X-Wings and TIE Fighters, droids, vehicles, and stationary weapons. It does no damage to humans. Even a direct hit does nothing but an annoying white flash. In a nutshell, this weapon or star card acts much like the pulse cannon in respect to the charge of time and beam like laser, although that is it. The Ion Neutralizer has the ability to do a small amount of damage with a bonus of a 2 to 3 second disabling of the target. Now on paper this sounds very good and possibly game breaking, however there is a fundamental issue with this star card that makes it incredibly difficult to use. Let's start off with its beam of velocity. I do not know the exact velocity of the Ion Neutralizer, however in comparison to the Pulse Cannon and Cycle Rifle, it is much slower. Because it's much slower, this already puts it at a disadvantage. The next thing is its charge of time is slightly longer than the Pulse Cannons. Now if you don't use the Pulse Cannon as much as I do, then this may not affect you, but to a veteran like me, this is major. Finally, when the beam is shot from the barrel of the neutralizer, it does not go directly in the center of the reticle in which you had been aiming it down. Instead, it goes down off to the left or sometimes to the right. Does this sound familiar to anybody? It really should. The cycle rifle in the game's re re release had the same issue. Slower velocity of shot in an accurate reticule aiming. This leads me to believe there is a mistaking or intentional mistake in the scripting of this card. I'm talking about whenever they actually decide to put this in the game. Either way, it needs to be changed. The way the card stands it is essentially useless right now. Now, in case you're using it, let me just give you a couple of tips. First, do not use this card unless you are the Rebels. I say this because at least shooting ATSTs is somewhat easy, and I find shooting uh, walkers or droids is useful while defending uplinks. However, whenever we're talking about the Imperials, they literally have no use for this card until it really will get a buff. I'm saying this because when you're trying to shoot an X-Wing or or like yeah in the case for an Imperial an X-Wing you cannot hit them it is incredibly difficult and even sometimes when you hit them like you saw in the beginning of my video nothing happens which is really wrong and like honestly there's something wrong with this card another tip I have for you whenever you're trying to use this is to try jump packing and shooting to get closer to the TIE fighters because like I said you're going to be using this when you're a rebel and the closer you are to an object the easier it is to hit you have a much higher chance of hitting and even stunning the fighter <clears throat> with the possibility of it actually running into the ground, which I have done several times, but I can name almost every time I've done it because that's how few times I've done it. Finally, if you are a rebel but are still playing the objective, then only use the eye neutralizer when TIE fighters are strafing or all the other times will most likely distract you and get you killed. So I'm basically saying that if your team is like absolutely getting dominated in the sky, you have to use this to try to help your team out. Now, it is kind of discerning for the enemy to see that beams of 
eye on are actually being shot at them so they might be more careful when they're strafing which is good because you're deterring them from strafing your team but if nobody's shooting anything at them they're just going to keep doing it so i mean it has it has that sort of uh you know makes the enemy want to avoid you effect but other than that i don't think it's very good but that is really it i feel that Without the buff, the arm neutralizer cannot be used. I feel like it, this will not change, however, until the Death Star content is even released. Now, that's really all I have to say, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Remember to comment for ideas for the next video, and remember to sub subscribe for more because I will be posting Star Wars Battlefront gameplay and videos in the future. Uh, but without further ado, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. What's going on, guys? This next year, today we're gonna be 